Hey everyone, it's your host Stacey Eck, and I'm here with Laurel. How are we? Talking about the show, The Carmichaels. I just have so many thoughts right now. Well, tell me what. Tell well, me your thoughts. I got to see the episode, the first, the pilot episode in the summer, and then I met Gerard, and I was like. Now that I met you, this makes a lot of sense of like how you guys became friends and worked together. If you were my real brother on the show, I, I would punch you. You didn't let him live. Wow. You had all the jokes. No, but see, that's <laughs> but Gerard. Know. Gerard is a I, he's so old school. If you if you look at everybody loves Raymond, yeah. even Seinfeld. Yeah. It's very interesting how like a lot of the main characters, he writes the other characters to carry the show for him. So it's kind of Gerard being lazy, maybe. <laughs> I love by that. making everybody else work hard to bring the fun. but no he's that's his genius man that's a dude which is why he, he knew what all of us fit into this man yeah. and um you know i think he's i don't know i think every, i think everybody's funny on the show to me it, honestly like even amber i love the chemistry it is so funny i love me and her and we talked um and i asked her one word to describe it and she could just say funny because and that's it that was so easy and it, it was very real to the show i love that Amber, i mean it's it's weird how much all of us get along right, like right. i like in, even like in between like takes and stuff mm -hmm. Or when we taking breaks, we always end up in somebody's dressing room. It's David or Loretta's or Gerard's talking for like thirty minutes about whatever, and uh, which is dope, man. You know, you, you with these two legends, and you got your boy and Amber. And Amber's a she's like really nice. Like when we did the screen test, this was before we was even casted on it. Me and her just talked for like twenty minutes. Never met before, just just talking. Like we grew up together, or something. So, yeah. Okay, speaking of that, so who has the messiest dressing room? Like be honest. Don't feel like you have to be nice. It's probably, let me tell you why. It's well. Let me say not messy. Is <laughs> like Loretta has the busiest dressing room. Okay, right. And, and she, <laughs> but she cleans it up like it's her apartment. It's very interesting because she be she knits and stuff, and she has all this stuff in there. Now with me, I'm probably the messiest because I tend to like as I get food throughout the day, I just leave it. <laughs> and, uh, so whoever cleans up the dressing rooms every day, like man, this dude always oh, got some food in here. So it's probably me. I love it. <laughs> so what part of Chicago did you bring to L.A.? Uh, I'm from the west side of Chicago. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm from the west side. Grew up. Went to Crane High School. Nice. Went to Providence St. Mel. Uh, Chicago is what, you know, is my foundation for everything. So it's the way I deliver things. and Which is dope about being out here. You come out here to work. I didn't have to come out here really to grind, grind. I just came. I've been out here just working. And I know, okay, besides acting, I know you're involved in music, too, which is amazing. What, how do your fans know you the best? Do they, is it through acting? Is it through comedy? Is it through... It's through, it? it's through comedy. Comedy has opened the doors for everything. So um, I'm one of the people that's going to keep having my hands dipped in everything. Okay. But comedy is the, is the, it's the foundation for everything. You know, comedy, that's what you got to do. That's advice to people. Like, you know, people tend to try to do so many different things. Okay. And they end up not really doing anything. So pick the one thing that can open up the doors for everything else. That's how that works. That's how I think I it works, in my no, I opinion. I agree. I agree. I love that. And so besides the people on your show, because you have you are working with some amazing folks, who's the one person you want to collab with in a comedic way? Um. Well, Kevin Hart, but he, <laughs> Kevin yeah. Kevin's produced my special, which comes on September fifth. I'm excited about. But he okay. produced my my first hour special. But I would love to do a movie with him too, which is something I I actually talked to him about it though. Ah, we do something. We can do something different. <laughs> something huh? different Let's do right? another. We we'll do a, another buddy cop right. <laughs> thingy or something else. Teachers or something. But I, I would love to work with Kev in a movie. But uh, he's he's also too. So shouts out to Kevin Hart. Okay, so when you watch this, Kevin, we we have some things going. On. I could be the anyway. Let's move on. Um, it's all about you. Where can your fans find you? Shout out your Twitter, Instagram, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm a very much an Instagrammer, uh, comedian, little rail. Um, on Instagram and I pretty much post whatever I post on Instagram I put it on Twitter and Facebook so you follow me on Instagram you following me yeah you're good to go I love that well congratulations on everything it's such a good show and I can't wait thank you so much you're welcome